All right. So now we're looking at this question. This one says, a television set was bought for $3,900. So that is the cost price. $200 was spent on transportation and $900 on repair. It was sold at a 10% loss and the selling price. So it was bought for $3,900 and $200 was spent on transportation, $900 on the repair. And then after when you put all of these money together, it was sold at a 10% loss. So really and truly the total cost price is actually, right, the total cost price cause total cost price is actually 3,900 plus 200 plus 900 cause they had to repair it. So we add those and what we get is we get $5,000. No, what was being told is that it is, it was sold at a 10% loss, right? 10% loss. So if it is sold at a 10% loss, that means it was sold at 90% of its cost price. So the selling price is equal to 90% of the total cost price. And so that means that the selling price is actually 90%. We can write that as a fraction. It's 90 over 100, and it is multiplied by the actual, the actual selling price of 5,000. So we put this in our calculator, or you can work it out mentally as well. But putting it in the calculator, we get 90 divided by 100 multiplied by 5,000 is $4,500. So that's how much it was sell, sold for, $4,500. So there's a $500 loss. So we can write that down, that the Selling price was $4,500. And so there was a $500 loss. All right, moving right along. This question says, a bed sheet was sold for $483, thereby gaining 15%. Find the cost price of the bed sheet. So it was sold for $483 and gaining 15%. So the selling price, what that means is the selling price is equal to 115% of the cost price. The selling price is 15% more than the cost price. So it's 115% of the cost price. So we can set up our equation. So that means the selling price of 483 is equal to 115% of the cost price. Let's call the cost price P. So it's 115 times P. So all we have to do is transpose and make P the subject of this formula. Transposing to make P the subject of the formula, we will get P is equal to, it looks as if it's gonna work out to be 483, 483 multiplied by 100. And all of this is gonna then be divided by 115. So we now divide all of this by 115. We put that in our 
calculator 483 times 100 divided by 150 that's 420 so we get 420 so the cost price was $420 for the bed sheet. $420. No issue right there, $420. Nice. Next question right here. This question says, Aaron bought an Almira for $1,520 and sold it at a profit of 12 and a half percent. Find the selling price. So he bought it for this amount and sold it at 12 and a half percent. So that means the selling price is equal to 112 and a half, 112.5 percent of the cost price. He sold it for more money. That's how he made a profit. And so that means that the selling price is actually equal to 112.5%, which we can write that as 112 and a half being divided by 100. And it is multiplied by the cost price of 1520. So this is multiplied by 1,520. That will give us the selling price. So 112.5 divided by 100 multiplied by 1,520. And that, when you put it in your calculator or you work it out, you shall get 1,710. And so Aaron sold Aaron sold the Al Myra for $1,710. Nice and easy. So, moving right along. Question six says By selling a camera for $2,400, Ron loses 4%. At what price must he sell it to gain 12%? So how much will he gain 12% of the cost price? So he bought it by selling a camera for 2,400 run loses 4%. So if he loses 4%, we can find the cost price, all right? That means that the cost price is equal to if he sells it for $2,400 and loses 4%, that means he's selling it for 96% of the selling price. So that means that the selling price actually, the selling price that $2,400 is 96% of the cost price. So this selling price right here is equal to 96% of the cost price. So let's call the cost price P. So the selling price, which is the selling price, which is two thousand four hundred dollars, is equal to ninety six percent, which is ninety six divided by one hundred, multiplied by multiplied by the selling price. Let's call the selling price, let's call the cost price rather P. And so we need to make P the subject. So to make P the subject, that would imply that P is equal to, if we transpose, P would be equal to 2,400 multiplied by 100, and that is being divided by 96. That's how we would find P. So let's work this out. And so what that means then is P works out to be equal to 2,400 times 100 divided by 96.
that's $2,500. So that means this is what he would have paid for. That means the cost price of the camera is $2,500. So the cost price, so the cost price is $2,500. Now, if the cost price is $2,500 and he wants to make a profit of 12%, he needs to sell it, he needs to sell, he needs the new selling price to be 12 more percent more than 2,500. So that means his new selling price, new, new selling price is equal to 112% of the cost price of the cost price of 2,500. So what that will work out to be is 112 divided by 100 multiplied by 2,500. So again, it is 112 divided by 100, that's 112% as a fraction, multiplied by 2,500. And so whatever you get, that's the new selling price. So doing that multiplication, the new selling price will work out to be, so the new selling price would work out to be, let's check that, 112 divided by 100 times 2,500 is $2,800. So that means you would have to sell the camera for $2,800 to make a 12% profit. So let's write that in words right here. The camera, camera has to be sold for $2,800 to make 12%, to make 12% profit. All right, so the camera has to be sold for $2,800 to make a 12% profit. Easy, nice, going along. By selling a stool for $240, a carpet loses 20%. How much percent would he gain or lose by selling it for 360? So by selling a stool for $240, if he sells the stool for $240 and loses 20%, that means that the selling price, the selling price, anytime you lose, that means the selling price is less than the cost price. So the selling price is 80%. That's how you lose 20%. 100 minus 20 is 80%. So the selling price is 80% off of the cost price. So we need to find the cost price. So that means that that 240 is equal to 80% can be written as a decimal is 0 0.8 times the cost price. Let's call the cost price P. And so we divide both sides by 0 0.8. And so that implies that P is equal to 240 being divided by 0 0.8. So 240 divided by 0 0.8 is 300. So that's the original cost price. So the original cost price, so the original, the original cost price of stool is, the original cost price of stool is, $300. So if you sell it for 360, that means you make a profit. So if sold for 360, let's write that down. If sold for 360, then the profit would be equal to 360, which is the 
new selling price minus the cost price of 300, which is $60. That would be the profit. And so the percentage profit, percentage profit would be equal to, let's work out what that percentage profit is. The percentage profit would be 60 divided by the cost price. It's 60 divided by the cost price of 300 multiplied by 100. This will give us the percentage profit. So working this out, what we get is 60 over 300 multiplied by 100 is 20%. That's 20%. And so the percentage profit would be 20% if it is sold for 360. That is the answer. Easy, easy, easy. Question eight says,